today what I'm thinking is we're going to discuss what you can do to prepare your home for the home inspection. And this could either be geared towards uh, a seller or the seller's agent even some things to do. And then uh, we'll follow it with a list of things not to do. So uh, the first thing is um, you want to ensure that the inspectors have access to everything. So access to attics, mechanicals, uh, crawl space areas, things like that. You want us to have free access to look at everything we need to look at. A, so we can do our job, and B, so that a potential buyer doesn't become apprehensive because we can't get to something. And that sometimes will make somebody more nervous than just getting and seeing what's in there. Another thing to do is, very timely, is have the utilities on. We uh, we just had an inspection canceled because uh, the water and the heat wasn't turned on because it's a bank owned. They try to winter, uh, dewinterize, and all of a sudden you've got burst pipes and everything. Now you're talking about some of the most important areas of the house that we just can't check because there's no plumbing working and no heat working. Another thing to do is uh, don't rush through repairs. We see this a lot where a seller is like, oh, I want to fix all this stuff before the home inspection. And it may not be their expertise. And they rush through a bunch of things. And what we see when we get there is sloppy or amateurish work in a lot of different areas. And even though it may be cosmetic type of repairs, it, it can make buyers feel real nervous about uh, repairs that look like they were done you know, really hastily or not professionally, even though they might not be major items. Mm-hmm. So some of those things, it's best just to disclose and leave it as is. The, the last thing you want to do is, if you do have work done, buyers love paperwork. So have documentation from contractors about services or repairs recently performed to back up that you're taking care of the house properly. Absolutely. Um, now, things to not do. You want to uh, not be present for the home inspection. It makes everybody feel awkward. Absolutely. So let your real estate agent be there as your representative to give access to the house. That way the buyer and their home inspector can talk candidly about it. Um, try to not fudge the disclosures. Um, you want to give as accurate a disclosure as you can because inconsistencies between your disclosure and what a home inspector finds just leads to apprehension. You know, if you're not sure how old something is, write that you're not sure. Or if you know it's somewhere between five and ten years, don't say five. Because if it turns out that it's ten, then it makes people feel like you're not being honest, even though it's unintentional. And then the, the last thing that you want to not do is, in general, just don't make life difficult for the home inspector. I mean, we're human beings. If you do stuff like fill your closet full of stuff that uh, we need to empty to get into the attic, um, it, it makes us irritated. Um, it, it makes you know you're not going to you know get any uh, any of those borderline calls so to speak if you if you make the guy mad. So um, just try not to do stuff intentionally to to stop us from doing our job. Just let us work. The whole process will be a lot smoother. Absolutely. And, you know, just to interject right there, if there's something, if you don't have access to something, that turns into an unknown. Now, there's nothing more concerning to buyers than an unknown. So that is really great advice, Mike. 